Hello, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, once again, we're with the Airfix kit. And we are looking at uh, the fuselage halves now. I glued them together yesterday. Um, now, because it's an old kit, old mold, we need to go round. Now we're going to take the various tapes off. We may need to add little bits of glue where they've been. Um, let's just remove those. So, uh, just take them off. Now, I haven't got uh, a rivet um a rivet maker so it may be that i'll need to order one before we can carry on um we'll see so first step really i'm just looking now just to go around make sure you know, there's a lot uh, of sanding to be done so I've already started a, just done a little test piece at the back there but you can see it's quite bad the, the join um, so the first thing to do you can see where I've started a little bit at the back we're going to go around with this it's fairly coarse this one um, and initially, we're just going to be very lightly. We don't want to press down because it's quite coarse and it's new. So and we're just going to try and take this big ridge off and, and just get it somewhere near. So we're just lightly taking that excess off there for now. literally just a it's a great bit of kit this um uh this flexing i don't know what they call it well, it's a flexi fire sanding frame professional sanding frame Ooh, uh. very long lightly still tear into the plastic we are literally just removing that uh, excess lip that's there where that's slightly misaligned. Not a great deal. Now then, this bit here, we're going to have to do um, probably by hand with a with um, a small needle file or something. And then just in front of that as well. Right, might as well do that, just that little top piece. Because we're going to come along in a minute with a finer piece of sandpaper and tidy it all up and and then we'll know where to fill, if, if ever, if we need to fill that is. Now definitely the... Yeah. 
Now you will find that uh, in some places when you're sanding, some of the sanding fragments will fill the hole and they'll make it look like it's um, look like it's a good join. So what I normally do is when I've um, finished sanding down the first pass, I'll go over with the airbrush with nothing in and just um, blow any dust out so that I can get a better idea of what's going on there. Don't want to lose that shape. <laughs> so far, so good. So that's the top done and so we're going to need some filler there. We'll come along with the finer sander in a minute. Um, better to do it this way. Already looking a hundred percent better. Let me come down to the front, and again, we're just gonna. And we don't. We don't really want that to curve so much there because that's a flat area. So very lightly. Very, very lightly there, so we don't want to start shaping that. And then as we come down towards the front, where it naturally curves, then we can start pushing down a bit on the on the flexi sander to back up the top very lightly still and So that's left quite a coarse finish on um, the plastic there, which we definitely don't want to leave because it, it was showing the paint stage. 
um, and it will show quite badly. So we're going to put our old, uh, our older piece back on. It's got a nice smooth, and it's been, it's already been uh, used, so it's already worn a bit. And we go over and get some of this back to. Yeah, there we go. Much better. I can feel the difference already. It's very nice and smooth, that. So now we've got a little damage to the plastic there but that was already there I don't I can't really sun that out we might have to go over that with filler um, it's one of those that looks quite bad but you can't really feel it we'll see what it's like when it's primed finish on that just bring it even that side up a bit hi Rob hi Jan how are you both You know, somebody's told me that even if I manage to do this, it will look rubbish. So, it'll be interesting to see. So we've got a little bit of um, filler going to need to go down there. And possibly a little bit at the front there. To get a bit one of the fine sanders now just to because that's we need that to be flat on the top
Let's just grab a handful. <laughs> There we go, let's just, I just want that one to be. there I reckon with a little bit of sanding we might actually get away with no filler along the top uh, this is a, got a sponge on so I can actually push down and you can see if you look at it from the top if I push down the sponge conforms around the, the spine of the the Spitfire so I am actually only sanding this very thin piece along here um, which is the only bit I want to sand at the moment Now I might run a little bit of tet, I don't know, just along the top there. That might be where the tape was, where that tiny little gap is there. There's a little black, I don't know if you that's picking it up, but there's a tiny black line where it's not quite... Um, join so i think that's probably where the tape was let's just um put a little bit of tat in there and see if it Just push gently and see. Yeah, it's not quite glued together there. When you push the sides, you can see that it's... Um, Right, so we've got a couple of choices that we can make on the front. Um, we do need a bit of filler there. So I can either use um, some plastic putty, which I've got, or I can use some super glue, which I've got, or I can use, I've got some green putty squadron green i think it's called something like that or we can just run some revel cement over the top let that um go off and then come back and sand it flat um now the gap is very very Let me just use the uh, air, airbrush to clean it off a bit.
All right, I've got this little bit of um, damage on the front I want to deal with there before I put anything on it. Um, we've got this horrible looking bit on the front. You can see it just there. So I'm going to deal with that first. Now we don't actually have any, and the other thing of course is I've got Mr. Surface of 500 which is my favourite mode of filling. Um, we don't of course have any uh, detail around this front which is excellent which means we can fill uh, without worrying about any detail there. And we're okay along the spine, apart from little tiny sections here and there. But I don't think they're going to be affected. Um, so I'm going to go Mr. Surface of 500, I think, um, for this one. I've had good results from it in the past. It's quick, easy. Um and generally I just really like it until I find or try something better. I haven't tried the plastic putty one um, yet. But just for this project I want to make sure I stick with something I know. It's a fairly potent um, smell to it. Just cleaning the brush. I noticed the tip had a tiny flex of yellow on it, so um, I can't remember the last time I used anything yellow, but. So we'll start at the front. And just it's self leveling. So we're only doing a narrow line on here. We don't want to fill that circle in. We're going to fill in that where that damage is. So we're using a slightly bigger band than normal. Of course, it's going to go into that and then it will shrink a bit. So I believe, and then we'll just. I'm not going to fill that in in there because I think something's going over that so it doesn't really matter. And then coming back, I really want to use as little as possible. We don't want to damage the... Um, do as minimal damage as possible to the 
rivets there. Flip it over. Let's just have a look on the bottom. Yeah, we've got some. Probably needs. Probably going to need a couple of. Um, You can see where I've left it, it's already leveling itself out. That's not, this bit's not going to be on show, but we may as well. Put a bit over there just to. Got a tiny bit we need at the back. And again, I'm just going to run a little bit down the seam. Let's see, tiny little. You can tell the moulding's a bit poor because um, the seam lines match up here. They match up here. They match up. They're a little bit off there and they're a little bit off there. And then they match up at the back. So um, somewhere along the line there's a, there's a bit of a discrepancy in the mould. By rights, if it matches up in one spot, everywhere else should um, be okay. Um, I may be able to try and do something to straighten that up a bit, or at least give it the appearance that it's... Right, there's not a lot more I can do with that now. So there we go. It's going to be a short one today because um, we've just uh, literally got to sand that off and fill. And that has to be left now for a, a day or two before I can go any further. So I'll leave that to harden. There's some quite horrible flash I notice on the uh, compartments where 
the doors are you can see it from this side but if you look at the top of the door frames and the window frames you can see some quite awful flash well I say it's flash it's actually quite thick plastic So that needs removing. Just cleaned that brush with um, cellulose thinners. Let's have a quick look at the chat. Uh, Dave Tarantula. Hello all. Hello Dave. Yes, Rob, she is. Hello, Rob. So he could hear you in the background. Mm -hmm. What Thanks surface? Uh, sorry, was away for a few minutes. What surface do you use? Um, this one is uh, Mr. Surface of 500, Mr. Hobby. Um, that's what I'm using to do the, them panel lines. They're really quite shallow. Um, not panel lines, sorry. They're, they're really not that bad, so I don't need anything um, anything too serious on them. Uh, don't sound in a very good mood. Um, I've had toothache, Rob. Um, I, I've got not only have I got toothache in one tooth, I've now got it in three: uh, bottom left, top right top left uh so it's uh I'm, 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 i've had a lot of toothache and i'm a bit tired um i'm about to go upstairs and have a lie down so i just wanted to do that because i've been been genuinely enjoying doing the spitfire it's odd as it seems um everybody's hammering it um everybody's telling me it's a, you know a horrible kit and as i said at the beginning i've even been told that even if i build this it will look awful. So uh, these are all things. I love it. I love it. I'm, I, you know, it's really, it, uh, I don't know whether they're trying to put me off, but it does the opposite. Um, it really sort of uh, spurs me on. And I, th I don't think it's looking too bad, to be honest, uh, given the problems I've had. And they've not been that many, really. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not great. Um, but, it's slowly coming round, and I, uh, I, I, you know, I don't think it looks that bad. Obviously, we'll see at the end. Long way to go yet, and anything could happen. But um, yeah, I'm pleased with it at the moment, and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm enjoying doing these little videos. They're just about right. They're normally about an hour, an hour and a half. This one's going to be a short one. Um, but, um, yeah, this one's going to be a short one. But uh, they're, they're normally, I, like I say, I enjoy doing them. I uh, built this a while ago. Hello, everyone. You got me inspired in building mine. Superb job. Oh, thanks, Frankie. Uh, Rob built this a while ago yeah so you all know what sort of kid it is thanks i only have the 1200 we'll have to get the 500 yeah i've got the 1200 as well um, it's um i haven't really used the 1200 uh i i, I tend to think that's more of a micro filler uh like for the very tiny tiny sort of lines you get you can airbrush that i believe uh this is a lot thicker um and i love this stuff it's so cool um i mean going slightly off on a tangent um if we look at this uh, ford escort let me take this shell out i used mr surface of 500 on on this shell and um 
if anyone's built this kit, they'll, they'll know what I mean about the shell because there's uh, there's holes in it all over. Um, the front bonnet was particularly bad. Um, and again, this, this build is on my Facebook page. You can go in and look at the photos at the beginning and that. And uh, so, you know, I've, that's all Mr. Surface of 500 under there that's uh, filled all them holes in and got rid of that very thin plastic. You could almost see light through it. It was that thin. Well, you could see light through it in parts. And then I totally reshaped um, the rear... Uh, the rear panel on this, um, the rear wheel arch, because I think it's this one. There was no shape to it at the back. It had all sort of crumbled away here. So that, that line you see there stopped about there. And I just put Mr. Surfacer on, let it dry, put a bit more on until I've got enough there to put that shape in and finish that line off. Um, and that's all Mr. Surfacer. Uh, Mr. Surfacer all on the roof there. Mr. Surfacer all across that back spoiler because that was um, that back spoiler had got a huge uh, shallow channel that ran all the way from one end to the other, um, like a ditch. And uh, yeah, that's all Mr. Surfacer. So, and I even. The front, um, so this is being left to dry at the moment. I put the front spoiler on with Tet, and um, I'd I was sanding it down, and it, it come away. So I glued it back on. I let that dry, and there was a little fine line. Um, and I decided that rather than just put the thin bead like I've done there a thin bead of it down um that meant i was going to have to you know sand that one line there uh, i decided that i was going to put it all over the all over the um, spoiler and shape it and then what i'll do is i will come along and just um level it all out you know flat it all down and then uh repaint that and it should look as good as new when it's finished it should look as good as the back that's a similar thing i've done to the back and that's um that's come out really nice so that's all mr surface for 500 highly rated really is top top notch i think i'm not an expert though um you know you need to uh there's people out there that deal in uh, body filling and, and they know far more than me. So, uh, well, Angela's touch chatting now. No, I won't. I'm talking to somebody. Oh, right, she's talking to someone. You'll have to get the 109 next. Is that Airfix as well or is that Revel? Oh, you're building a small 72 scale. Okay, yeah simultaneously yeah yeah why didn't you come and drop in on the hangout rob um there's there's be a hangout tonight you just go on to um the spruce surgery waiting room page on facebook and there will be a hangout go up about i don't know it's half seven eight o'clock um just drop in and uh, we can chat. Yeah, I don't know what what I don't know what video build I'll do next. I've got a few possible um, a few possibilities. I always like to do a kit that I think people in generally like to slam. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll put a list up and let people decide for themselves. Um, I've got uh, the Revel Victor K Mark II there, and Lou Page. Um, or I've, I've got the Italeri. Uh, yeah, I've got more than enough. V22 Osprey. Um, 
I've had the Italeri Iveco Highway 40th anniversary come in today, so I'm looking forward to building that. Um, so much to choose from. Yeah. No problem. You'll have yeah. to downgrade. First time trying, first time trying Rob, are you on about? Or first time trying a Phantom build? If you're building that Airfix Phantom, they say it's very good. I've, I've not um, seen it. Um, but apparently it's a very, very good kit. So, anyway. Uh, I think that's all, really. Uh, anyone else wants to drop in tonight and chat? Uh, I'll be on... Uh, the the sprue surgeon waiting room around seven eight o'clock time. There's a link goes up on the channel, and uh, you just click the link. All you need is a microphone. Um, you can have a web camera as well if you want to be if you want people to see what you're building, and uh, you can have up to ten people in the room. And uh, yeah, we just chat and build and have fun for the night. Don't worry, the missus won't be here either because she'll be in bed asleep. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'll be building though yet. Oh, no. I'm not sure. I've got the... Um... Oh, first time trying to get on a show. Okay, well, it's offline Hello. this one, so... Um... You should, have you got, uh, as long as you've got Windows 10, Google Chrome, you should be fine. Should be fine. Um, you may need to install, uh, it may come up and say you need to install this, but it will usually give you the link to where you've got to go to install it. Uh, So I might, uh, I might see some of you later. If not, I will catch you all next time when we will be, um, what will we be doing next time? Hopefully we'll be moving on to the wings as long as the uh, seam lines are taken care of. I'm just looking now. It's uh, I might need to go over with a little bit more. It's shrunk back a little bit already. Some of it's okay. Okay, well, we'll see. Right, anyway, bye for now. Thanks for watching. Wow, I...